And from Sega Bloomingdale, we are so thrilled to be part of the Bloomingdale Walk, Run, and Roll. And we are here with a warm up for you from our Spangle Bloomingdale studio. So we're going to get ready, get that body nice and warmed up, get you ready for your race. And here we go. We're going to start here with a couple of racks from heel to toe. So standing up nice and tall, zipping that core up, racking from that heel and up to your toes, warming up those ankles, warming up those calves. Nice job. Keep it going right here. Starting to feel nice and warm. Just getting that body moving. Is it wrong that I'm losing my balance already? <laughs> <laughs> if you are losing your balance, go ahead and focus on something that's not moving. Pull that core in nice and tight, and that's going to help you stay a little bit balanced in this movement. We're here for five, four, three, two, and let's go ahead. We're going to swing our leg forward and back. Take that right leg, standing up nice and tall. The only thing moving here is that leg, warming up that hip. You can tap it down if you need to in between, if you need to catch that balance. Otherwise, try to focus on that point that's not moving. Pull that core in nice and tight. Great job. We're going to take this across our body in five, four, three, Two, and give it a quick little shake, and then we're going to take that same leg, bring it across, and then open. So taking it across that body, and then swinging it out, opening up that outside of that hip, that inside of your leg, warming up that outside of your hip, whatever I'm trying to say. You got it. Again, nice little balance move here, working on that balance. We're going to take this over to that other side in five. Great job. You're here for three, two, and go ahead, give it a little shake. We're going to take it into that swing on that other side. So standing nice and tall on that right leg, swinging that left leg. Again, keeping that body nice and up straight. Only thing moving is that leg, warming up that hip. Great job. Beautiful. You can hold your hands on your hips. You can give them a little bit of motion like that's doing right over there. Great job. We're going to take this across in four, three, two, and shake that leg. And then we're going to take it across and open. Warming up that outside of your hip, warming up that inside. Again, standing up nice and tall right here. Only thing moving is that leg. Beautiful. Getting that body nice and warm, ready to go. We're here for 10 more seconds. And then we're going to take it into a hip hinge to warm up those hamstrings in four, three, two, and standing up nice and tall. We're going to hinge at those hips, bending that booty back, soft bend in those knees, warming up those hamstrings. You're going to feel a nice stretch down those hamstrings right there. If the range of motion all the way down here is not in it for you today, just take it where it feels comfortable, where you feel that little stretch, just starting to warm up those legs. Great job. It's crazy how much you feel that. <laughs> You're here for four, three, two, and we're going to take it into a little bit more of a dynamic move. Start to get that heart rate up. Taking it into a nice little backstroke shuffle right here. If this little hop is not in it right now for you, take it to a little more of a side step. Whatever works for you here. Great job. Start to warm up that body. Bring that heart rate up for you. We're going to add some arms into this. In five. In three. Two. Taking those arms across and back. Give yourself a hug and open it up. Again, you can hold on to that boxer shuffle. You can take this to more of a step. Whatever feels good for you right now as you get that body nice and warm. Beautiful. We're going to switch those arms into more of a circle motion in three, two, and taking those arms forward. 
I know you're probably sitting there saying, wait, I'm going to be running or walking. Why am I working out my upper body? That upper body is going to be doing some work for you today, too. We're going to switch directions in five, four, three, two, and take those arms backwards. Beautiful. Again, you can be stepping it if you're feeling really good. You can take this to a little bit more of a shuffle. For four, three, two, and we're going to take this into a hamstring curl, bringing those arms into this one as well. Kicking that booty as you step from side to side. If you're feeling good here, go ahead and take this a little bit quicker. Starting to bring that heart rate up. Beautiful. Holding it right here. If you're feeling good here and you want to stay right here, go ahead and stay right here. Otherwise, if you're ready to give it a little bit more, let's take this to a full long butt kicker. This is the last 30 seconds of our warm up. Getting that heart rate up, getting you ready to go. Hopefully, you're feeling nice and warm. Great job. Again, you can still be here or taking it here, whatever feels good for you. For the last 10. Great job, you're almost there. In four, three, two, and go ahead and take it to a side step. Grab a little water. Hopefully you're feeling good, ready to go. Good luck, whether you're walking, running, or rolling. Enjoy your race. Don't forget to come back for our cool down right after. Yes, come back for the cool down. We've got a really great stretch for you.